what's up you guys so today we're headed to southern south carolina to an old church there's a little bit of ruins there and um i'm gonna try to shoot a time lapse over the top of it so let's go <laughs> I'm gonna take with me. I'm gonna take the stabilizer. I'm gonna take a little tripod. Probably gonna take the big tripod. Leave that. Take the microphone, and I'll take the camera. So let's take this stuff and get out of here. Now that I got all my gear packed up, make a coffee, get my keys, and walk out the door. So I got a phone call when I was leaving out and it was the missus and she's like Daniel come eat with me before you go on this long trip and I was like yeah I'll go eat with you so we're gonna go eat breakfast and then I'm gonna get on the road so let's go do that I just got done eating lunch with Christina and now I'm back on the road. Hopefully these clouds turn out the way that I want them to. We got a pretty sunset in the background, that'd be fantastic as well. I've pretty much narrowed down the exact times for the uh, sunset, when it's going to close, when it's going to start, so that's all figured out and all I got to do now is put the camera in the right spot. What's up you guys? We just got here and this place is so sick. There's like craves dated back to the 1700s. They got beautiful trees. This place is truly remarkable. You know, if you guys live anywhere in South Carolina, you guys gotta come out here and check this place out. So that sums it up. A few more people turned out. That's my camera over there shooting the time lapse. Although, if you look at that sky, it's pretty cloudy, like solid. There's no, no cloud movement, but that's okay. So I set it up anyways, and I got the, uh, the time lapse, which I'll show you guys after this clip more than likely. And I'm gonna say that it's a pretty cool spot. There's a lot of cool stuff going out here. If you really like taking pictures, it's picturesque. And then, you know, just kind of, kind of looking at the different things. Look at this. Oh, the gravestone. Yeah. So, really beautiful. Seen probably about three or four couples coming out here to take wedding shots today. So, 
I guess that's a typical wedding shot place. Look at this. I don't know who's in there, but it must have been pretty important to get buried in this big old platform. Let's see. It's pretty worn off, so you can't really tell, but yeah. So there's all that, and there's beautiful trees. But the one thing I keep asking myself as I walk around out here is, what's the likelihood that when that sun goes down and my butt's still out here, there's gonna be some ghosts. I don't know if I can deal with that. <laughs> I ain't a spooked out person, but you know, when when it comes to the matter of ghost or no ghost, Daniel don't play. So I'm uh, I'm gonna try to hope that time lapse finishes up way over there. Who's the crazy person who just leaves a three thousand dollar camera over there by itself? Yeah, this guy I guess. So yeah, anyways. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to get out of here by sunset and hopefully the time lapse does a good job. And if you guys are down this way, which it's kind of by Hilton Head, it's a little bit before. So if you guys go to Hilton Head, easy spot to hit. And then, um, yeah. All right, so like, I just got done talking to a couple. Yeah, it's late. I stayed way later than I was supposed to, but I just got done talking to a couple and they said, yeah, this place is definitely haunted. And I guess the baby grave that had the ornament on it, uh oh. Anyways, had the ornament on it. I guess like if you mess with that grave, then something's supposed to come after you. Well, guess what? This guy flipped over. There was like some trinket on it. That was like a plastic Chinese trinket. I flipped it over to see when it was made because I was like, yeah, who left this cheap ornament on there? Like really? But then now she's saying this, so I guess somebody's gonna follow me home. So if this is like the last documentation of me, I just want everybody to know, everybody, that I love you. Peace. All right, like I'm driving home and I can't get over, and this this thing in front of me is done, busted its tire, got fucking sparks flying all over the fucking place. They won't let me over, these assholes over here. What the heck? What the heck, people? Like, for reals, though. Like, why are you still driving on the road? and you got a blown tire. Like that dude's, he's back there still driving. Got a blown out tire. That's crazy. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just think things through more than other people. Anyways, this is the end of the video. All right, peace.